let's make things interactive with trigger animations. One of the worst things about presentations, whether they're walls of text or great visuals like this, is that presenters are forced to talk about everything on the slide. So you end up talking about more than the audience may need. And the idea of skipping over something tends not to fly with people listening as it sounds unprofessional, like you've not made the effort to create a deck for this group. But what if I put up this slide and then decided, live in front of you, which area to explore in more detail? I could decide that you're most interested in security. Click on that and bring up more information. Then you might need to know more about scale, so I can click on that and talk about it. But you don't need to know anything about continuity, so I'll move on. However, for another audience, you may want to know about continuity, so I can choose that instead of the other topics and explain what's happening. This flexible approach to what content appears is done using trigger animations. Trigger animations are easy and basic. The difficulty comes when looking for ways to implement them well. On this slide, there's a screenshot of the Bright Carbon website, which I may just want to show you briefly, tell you it's well worth checking out, and then move on. Or you may be interested in knowing more about the services that we offer, which is this set of icons here. To give us choice, select the service icons image, go to the animation tab on the ribbon and add an animation. In this case, I'm going to choose peek in and set it to come in from the right. Now, right click on the animation in the animations pane and choose timing from the pop-up menu. At the bottom of this list of timing settings, you'll find triggers. And this drop-down reveals more options, including starting the animation when you click on something else on the slide. In this case, I want the animation to start when I click on the website screenshot. And there you have the animation under a new trigger heading, so that the animation will only happen when you click on the website screenshot. To make things truly flexible though, you can also have the service icons disappear using the same technique. If you click on the icons image, go to the animations tab and add an exit animation, in this case a peek out animation, peeking out to the right, you can also trigger this animation to happen when clicking on an object. And that can be a different object or the same one. Again, right click the animation, choose timing, then triggers, and in this case I'm going to choose the same website screenshot as before. This puts the animation into the same trigger heading as the peek in animation. And because I have the peek out animation set to start on a click, I can now toggle between the two. In show mode, the first click on the website brings up the service icons, and if I click again, it triggers the peek out animation, and I can keep doing this and bringing the object in and sending it out just by clicking on the screenshot. This gives you some nice options to really bring your content to life and explore it live with your audience, creating a more active engagement experience. Unlike this. What's your initial impression of this slide? Exactly. But of course, you can make it better using visuals and animations. Any ideas? Why not pause the video, take a moment to read it, and think about visuals that represent the story better? Got some? Good. What did you come up with? There are plenty of possibilities. And this is one option, to show the healthcare staff and talent development resources available and then show the breakdown with the millennials making up 30-40% to 40 of healthcare staff by splitting them apart in proportion, and showing that despite this, more than 85% of talent development resources go to baby boomers and Generation X, so there's clearly a disparity here. So what we need to do is identify individuals who are capable of stepping into leadership roles and accelerate their development through the organisation with a symbolic jungle gym, so that they can become the future. OK, so that's one option, and it's a good one. But it relies on me telling the story and you just listening to it. It's passively engaging. Instead, you could flip it around, using triggers to ask the audience what they think the numbers are. Here, we've got the same staff icons, but now put a trigger on it so that clicking on the wrong percentage brings up an incorrect answer prompt, and the right answer brings up a correct answer prompt. You can then do the same with the resources. The idea here is that you're asking people a question and they have to actively engage and can meaningfully interact with the content. There are, of course, many other tools that allow you to take this kind of thing further, but they require different software or plugins. This is native PowerPoint, so always works and is right there in front of you. 
give it a go and share your creations with us by emailing info at brightcarbon.com.